property rights of spouses act section 18 protection of mortgage subsection 1 subject to the provisions of sections 21 and 22 we haven't reached those yet the rights conferred on any spouse by an order made under this act shall be subject to the rights of any person entitled to the benefit of any mortgage, security, charge or encumbrance affecting any property in respect of which the order is made. If such mortgage, security, charge our encumbrance was registered before the order was made or if the rights of that person arose under an instrument executed before the date of making the order All right so let's look at that again subject to the provision of sections 21 and 22 the rights conferred on any spouse by an order made under this act shall be subject to the rights of any person entitled to the benefit of any mortgage, security, charge, or encumbrance affecting any property in respect of which the order is made of such, if such mortgage, security, charge, or encumbrance was registered before the order was made. Oh, so it seems to be saying that the person who is paying the mortgage, right, the rights of any spouse by an order made under this act shall be subject to the rights of any person entitled to the benefit of any mortgage. So if you or your spouse as a mortgage and paying, say from the bank and paying to the bank. Right? You borrowed money and are paying mortgage to the bank. The fact that you are now married does not change the fact that you still owe them money right under this act shall be subject to the rights of any person entitled to the benefit of any mortgage security charge or encumbrance affecting any property so if you are paying mortgage on the family house affecting any property of which the order is made if such mortgage was made before the even in such a divorce of the spouses and division of the property, you still owe the bank money. You must still pay them. That seems to be what this is saying. It would be nice to have an attorney at law who is expert in this matter. Give some advice regarding this. But anyway, subsection 2. Notwithstanding anything containing any enactment no money payable under any mortgage security charge or encumbrance referred to in subsection 1 shall be called in or become due by reason of making an order under this act not being an order directing the sale of any property oh so just because the bank hears that you're now divorced from your spouse, they can't now demand that that mortgage which will mature in three years, you must pay it now. The only way they can make that order is if the property that you owe mortgage on is being sold to divide the property, right? seem as if that is what it is saying. I looked up 
the word encumbrance, what it says here, is an impediment or burden. Okay. A mortgage or other claim on the property or asset. Okay. A mortgage or any claim on the property or assets. So the encumbrance would be money that you owe on a car or a house or so. All right. Section 19. Agreement to defeat creditors void. Subsection 1. Any agreement, deposition or other transaction between spouses with respect to their family home or other property which is intended to defeat any creditor or of either spouse shall be void. We will next look at disposal of property. 